Welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore Dialysis Technology and Artificial Kidneys The Future of Renal Replacement Therapy Dialysis, often known as an artificial kidney, plays a critical role in today's kidney transplant alternatives. The primary function of a dialysis machine is to remove fluid and dissolved substances from a patient's blood. A dialyzer's four pillars are its structure, performance, biocompatibility, and membrane material, all of which contribute to these ends. Modern artificial kidneys function as hollow fiber dialyzers, which have their own chambers for blood and dialysate. The fluid mechanism of dialysis machines is highly sensitive to how its various parts are constructed. Increasing the surface area of the membrane, decreasing its thickness, and decreasing the fluid resistance are all expected to achieve a high clearance. Dialysis is a medical therapy used to remove waste products and excess fluid from the circulation in patients with renal failure. To aid patients who have had renal failure, scientists are creating devices they dub artificial kidneys. The effectiveness of a certain dialyzer is measured by how well it is able to remove fluid and solute excesses from the patient's blood. Solutes in plasma could be separated based on their molecular weights, which is relevant information when addressing the process of blood purification. Healthy humans evacuate glucose, electrolytes, lipids, urea, and creatinine through ion channels or through the cell membrane. Humans use a variety of metabolic pathways to metabolize solutes with molecular weights between 515 Kra, such as hemoglobin, 2 microglobulin, and bilirubin. Oncotic pressure is exerted by big molecular weight solutes that are unable to pass through semipermeable cell membranes, more than 15 K Daltons. When comparing quality of life, cost effectiveness, and survival rates, Kidney transplantation stands head and shoulders above all other forms of renal replacement therapy. The amount of donated kidneys is exceedingly low compared to the demand for them. It is estimated that just 10% of people with end-stage renal illness do not require any form of dialysis treatment. The concept of implanting an artificial kidney, which emerged with renal replacement therapy, is encouraging and troubling in equal measure. The artificial kidney needs to fulfill a long list of requirements before it can be implanted as a viable replacement for human kidneys. Dialyzers, artificial organs designed to replace kidneys, are highly efficient at flushing out a wide range of solute molecular weights. The dialysate and blood are separated by the membrane. The behavior of solutes with different molecular weights is affected differently by the three main types of clearance across the membrane. Interactions between blood and the inner surface of hollow fibers during dialysis might lead to systemic effects such as inflammation, coagulation, erythropoietin resistance, and protein insufficiency. Treatments that purify the blood can have unintended side effects such as coagulation, inflammation, intradialysis hypotension, hemodialysis-induced amyloidosis, and residual renal function loss. Improving biocompatibility is a key focus area for future dialyzer research and development. Numerous approaches are being explored in the quest to perfect artificial kidneys. Hemodialysis is the most common form of dialysis and it involves filtering the patient's blood mechanically as it flows through the veins and arteries. The peritoneum, a membrane lining the belly, is used in a process called peritoneal dialysis to filter blood. Bioartificial kidneys are hybrid devices that replace failing natural kidneys. There is hope that these machines will be able to approximate a kidney's function. An artificial kidney implant mimics a human kidney and can be surgically inserted to filter waste and control the body's water balance.
If the dialysis system were modified significantly, it would have a huge impact on patients' lives. Artificial kidney implants, wearable devices, and home dialysis are some possible solutions. High cost, bulkiness, lack of clean water, need for an energy supplement, and difficulties getting dialysate are barriers to widespread adoption of artificial kidneys. Blood filtration technologies using artificial kidneys and semi-permeable membranes are currently in the early stages of development. Improvements in synthetic methods, nanotechnology, data collecting, and prior dialysis experience all contributed to the progress of dialyzers of the future. In a healthy organism, the kidneys are responsible for the creation of 1,25 dihydroxyvitamin D, ammoniogenesis, glutathione metabolism, erythropoietin synthesis, and immunological regulatory support. Today's designs for artificial kidneys put less emphasis on these metabolic processes and instead emphasize dialysis and fluid removal efficiency. To fully replace renal function, future developments will need to account for the metabolic activities carried out by the kidneys. More convenient than home dialysis and with fewer hemodynamic implications, wearable artificial kidneys represent the next generation of dialysis therapy. The artificial kidney must be lightweight and small enough to be concealed. Wearable artificial kidneys encounter challenges such as consistent blood vessel access, improved biocompatibility, cytocompatibility, immunocompatibility, and hemocompatibility, and patient education. A user-operated dialysis machine is essential for its wearability. When dialysis machine is unplugged from the patient's blood vessels, a leak check must be performed to assure the patient's safety. The current process for purifying blood is the result of decades of scientific study. Multiple clinical indications are used, from dialysis for end-stage renal disease, ESRD, to continuous venovenous hemofiltration, CVVH, for acute kidney damage in intensive care units. A lot of room for progress exists, though. There are now three major problems with artificial kidneys, patient quality of life, artificial kidney challenges, and a lack of metabolic capacities. Current technologies require further development to reach their full potential, and it's likely that new technologies will be developed in the future as well. Artificial kidneys have come a long way from their inception in the early 20th century. Hollow-fiber dialyzers have largely supplanted other forms of artificial kidneys due to their lower fluid resistance and bigger surface area. Patient quality of life and artificial kidney problems are still roadblocks for modern dialysis equipment. While the results are worth it, the protracted treatment process has a devastating impact on the patient's normal life. Hemodialysis treatment complications further highlight the unmet need for additional biocompatible dialyzers. Numerous approaches have been taken to overcome these challenges, such as the utilization of geometric designs and modifications to synthetic materials, but there is still room for improvement. Miniaturizing artificial kidneys will make it easier to employ them to replace the kidneys in metabolic processes. Thanks to innovations in nanotechnology like the Ready system and tissue engineering, artificial kidneys have undergone a sea change in their design. Wearable and implantable artificial kidneys are the next promising milestones in blood purification therapy, despite the fact that there are still many technical challenges to overcome. Join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Dialysis Technology and take the first step toward a successful career in dialysis technologist. We are here to assist you in launching your career as a dialysis technologist. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away.
Shri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sri Ram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.